Hello friends, I'm Abhishek and uh, basically in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, like ping fit rate. Uh, I'm basically preparing a set of video on ping fit rate uh, which will help you to uh, get a good insight uh, on ping fit rate like if you are a beginner uh, like when you are just uh, coming from a college and getting a chance to work in the field of identity and access management. Uh, this video is really going to be helpful and also if you are an experienced person in that case also if you are getting if you are moving from one product to another and getting a chance to work on ping fit rate in that case also this video is going to be helpful so yeah like I'll just talk about the uh, and I'll just give you a rough idea what type of uh, video you are going to see in ping fit rate from next and I'll just quickly give my introduction and uh, yeah that is all about this video so let's begin I'm Abhishek. Uh, I have completed my Bachelor of Engineering uh, from University of Vardhaman in the year 2018 and thereafter I joined Wipro as a project engineer where I get a chance to work in the field of identity and access management. I started working with Ping, Federate and other products and uh, there are multiple things uh, going inside that. It's very new for me at that time but uh, with the time being I just grabbed the things with the help of seniors and the uh, training materials. I just learned and uh, worked on that product. And then I just uh, switched to other companies like I worked for PwC, HCL and there also I get a chance to work in some development project in the field of identity and access management with other IM products. And uh, currently I am working uh, as a senior identity specialist at CMU. So this is about my introduction and uh, like I just talk, I just talk about that uh, the Ping Federate uh, video I am going to uh, uh, prepare right and which, uh, which I am going to upload in my YouTube channel uh, like very soon. So yeah, in IAM you can see there are multiple products, right? Like uh, Ping Federate, Ping Access, Ping ID. These are the Ping Identity uh, set, uh, Ping uh, suit products you can say. And then you have multiple product in the identity side like SailPoint, uh, Savient, and you have the CyberArk as a privilege access management. So there are a bunch of product. So I'm having experience on like Ping suit product uh, along with Azure Ready and Okta. So I'll just try to prepare a set of video like on this all product which will really help you a lot like if you're a beginner or if you're an experienced person also and switching to this product right getting a chance to work on this product. So basically I'm going to start with Ping Federate and uh, the video what I'm going to upload in Ping Federate is just uh, I'm just going to start with the scratch thing like uh, you can say the installation and configuration. I, I just uh, start with the on-premise model only because on-premise model will help you to uh, get a good insight on the infrastructure also right. If you, uh, if you start with a cloud product, maybe you will understand uh, how the product works, right? But if you, but you will not get an insight on like uh, the infrastructure, the backend infra, right? How it is running. Uh, so I'll just uh, definitely just try to show you that also. So I'll, I'll start with on-premise only. That means I'll just uh, take a virtual machine on Google Cloud or Azure on AWS and I'll just try to set up the ping federated there. And then we'll start with the uh, with the basic things, right? Like uh, the the installation, configuration, and the basic setup, right? Whatever whatever things are coming uh, in the ping fed, right? In terms of adapter configuration, selectors, policies, PCV, whatever the terminology you can see in ping fed, I'll just touch with the basic uh, fundamental thing, right? And with the time being, like we'll just switch to like little advanced level also, right? Where I'll just discuss about different problems, challenge, what we are saying. We'll talk about the customization of adapters, right? And a few other uh, use cases also we'll talk. So this is really going to be a very uh, good uh, uh, set of videos on Ping Federate. Uh, uh, and it's really going to help you a lot if you are really wants to learn more on Ping Federate. And uh, if you are a beginner and getting a chance, I think in the IT company, it's not very easy to understand everything, right? Because on a daily basis, you are working on some project, right? And uh, you will not get very good help also easily from the seniors, right? There are a few seniors which will, which will help you also. But again, like if you get a very good uh, video on fundamental thing, right? Uh, you will really understand a lot and then you will become excellent in that product. So I'll try my best to give you a, a good uh, set of videos on Ping Federate. Uh, and uh, in the next video, I'll just talk about the roadmap, right? Uh, of Ping Federate, like uh, I'll just give you the, uh, the complete content. The first, like in the first video, what you will see in the second, like that. I'll give you a very good content on that and then from third video we'll start with the installation configuration and then what I just talked right uh, like and definitely in the next video you'll be able to see the entire things and uh, yeah this is all about this video and we'll meet you in the next video with the roadmap of Pink Federate. Thank you.